let's talk about bolus spiders. Bolus spiders are groups of orb weaver spiders. They're found in North and South America, as well as Africa, some areas of Asia, and most of Oceania. What they're most well known for is the very interesting way that they hunt, which is also where they get their name. Now, boluses are a type of weapon that not as much anymore, but historically were used quite often by South American hunters and ranchers in order to take down large prey animals or subdue livestock. They're just kind of these two balls attached together by a string. You swing them around and throw them at whatever you want to catch. It wraps around the legs and drops them. And these bolus spiders hunt in kind of the same way. As you can see right up there. <laughs> up there, that is spider silk that is covered with a large drop of just sticky stuff. And these boluses are used by the adult female spider in order to catch their prey. Now, the adult male spiders, which are much smaller, and spiderlings don't hunt this way. And it also varies a little bit between species as well. Basically what happens is these guys specialize in moths usually, but will eat other insects, and the female bolus spider will emit specific pheromones that are usually made by female moths. These pheromones will attract a male moth, at which point the female spider will use her bolus to catch and eat the moth. Now, like I said, different species use different tactics. One of the more common ones is that when the spider senses the moth coming near, she will then spin and spin and spin around the bolus until it's moving fast and then cast it out and try to hit the moth. Other species instead will just keep it in close and when they sense the moth, they will just fling it out straight instead of kind of swirling it around kind of, I guess, casting it out like a fishing line instead of twirling it like a lasso or a bolus. Now, apparently this is quite effective. These spiders are obviously good enough at it for there to be many, many species of bolus spiders. And it's hypothesized that these guys don't rely so much on visuals to sense when the moth or other insect is coming, but rather sensing the vibrations in the air made by moth or other insect wings. After the moth is caught, the spider will just reel it in like a fishing line and eat it up.